good question. And this is a question I actually get asked a lot. Out of the 35 books I've written, maybe two of my titles I've gotten to keep. Harlequin has a fabulous uh, editorial and marketing team who work really hard to hit those buzzwords that for some reason really work uh, for the sales force. So in this instance, I did not pick my title. And also they were looking at titles that would go together as for the whole series um, since they were working with mm -hmm. numerous authors. Early on, I was writing some what they called erotic romance for NAL. Now those books would be considered pretty tame, but at the time it was sort of, you know, cutting edge sexy. A comment that I received over and over again was that my books were really sexy but sweet, which I took to be a compliment. One lady told me, I didn't want to read your book because I thought it would be gross, but she said, I read it because I met you and I really liked it. <laughs> so, and of oh, course, so nice. <laughs> yeah, of course, my Harlequin Desires are not as sexy as those early books, although they definitely do have um, sexy scenes. I went to a very progressive elementary school. Um, I guess progressive is the right word. We had a science fair like most schools do, but in addition to the science fair, our school had an arts and crafts fair alongside the science fair. So students could write short stories, you know, paint pictures, enter them. I wrote a riveting story called The Princess and the Robbers when I was in third grade. Uh, won a red ribbon for it, and I thought I had arrived. But yeah, I, I knew even back then uh, that making up stories was something I loved to do. In junior high school and boring classes, I would write short stories and pass them around to my friends to read. Um, so it goes way back. It's called Paying the Bills. <laughs> um, <laughs> I Writer's block tends to happen to me um, when I don't have a whole day to write. For instance, today, I knew I had to get ready for this chat. I had a couple of phone calls earlier. And I sometimes will say, well, you know, I'll write tomorrow and I'll do all my, you know, businessy kind of stuff today. But that's sort of an excuse. Usually, if I can convince myself to turn on the laptop and sit down and get started, I pull myself into my own story and it's okay. Um, so it's right. a lot of times just a matter of, you know, even if you're typing a weird sentence that doesn't mean anything, your fingers tell your brain, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be working right now. And uh, it happens. Just get it down. It, it does. 